Hello friends. If you're using OpenTunes on a 4K or larger monitor, you might find that the menus and other text can be a bit small. Well today I want to show you what you can do about that by showing two ways to change the size of the text as well as changing a few other things about the interface. And if you don't want to make any changes yourself, I'll show you how you can download my new 4K themes for free that allow you to switch your interface from looking like this, where the menus aren't easily readable, to looking like this, much more readable. So do stay tuned to the end for that. But first, let me drop down to a 2K view so you can better see what I'm doing. So first off, it's worth knowing about the themes. And I've covered these before in an earlier video, and you can see that just up here. And the link is also in the description. And this video also has some other themes in it, so you can download and use those. So do check that out. And by default, OpenTunes comes with five themes, and you can switch to them from the Preferences page. Under the File menu here, Preferences. In the Interface section, at the top here, just change the theme to a different name there, and you'll get that theme visible. And these just give you a change in the colours, but they can contain much more like the size and colour of the text, the space around the buttons, and other layout type settings. And they're stored as files on disk in your OpenTunes stuff folder inside config QSS. And the content will be familiar to anyone who's messed with website design in any way, as they just contain CSS definitions. And don't worry if you don't know what CSS is or haven't worked with it before, it is pretty straightforward. So OpenTunes just looks for QSS files in a folder of the same name in this location. So here's the default QSS in the default folder, and blue QSS in the blue folder. So one way to make a change is to copy the folder for a set of styles that you like. So if I, for instance, copy the dark folder and paste this in here, and then give it a new name, and then go inside that folder to the QSS file and give that the same name. And now I can edit this file to make my change. So take a look through this file and see most of the values that you can change. And you can either change them here in line. For instance, the top bar tab in the room buttons at the very top of OpenTunes here. I could change the background color to make them red. Or instead of working in line, you can copy the whole block paste it at the very bottom and edit it there, which I prefer to do. So for instance, if I go to the selected tab, that's the selected room button, and I'll copy that. I'll go to the very bottom of the page and then put a, a comment block here just to separate out what I've changed. Paste that block at the bottom, and now I can change the color at the bottom to make the selected tab blue. And this is my favorite way of making a change because you can still see the original settings higher up and then just delete your editor block at the bottom if you change your mind. So make your change and then restart OpenTunes. And notice the color of the menu buttons at the top of the screen there before we make the change. If you go to the Preferences, Interface section, and from Themes, choose our new dark demo theme that we just created. And when that loads, you can see the unselected room buttons are shown with a red background, and the selected buttons are shown with a blue background. And it's worth noting that if I make any more edits to the theme, I can just switch to another theme and back again to see the change without restarting. So, for instance, if I go to the very bottom and change that colour from a background colour of blue to be green, I can change the colour of the text to be yellow, hit save, and then if I change themes to any other theme, so let's just change to the standard dark theme, and then we'll go back to the dark demo theme. And now you can see the selected buttons is green with the yellow text. But editing text and switching themes is a bit of a slow process where you're just experimenting with layout and color. And if only there was a quicker way. Well, there is. You can add changes to the current theme by going to the preferences page, clicking on the interface section again, and then at the top here, click this button called edit additional style sheet. And then in this pop-up, you can add any changes to the styles. So again, let's change those room buttons. So simply copy and paste that block of CSS from the theme file, paste it into this window, and we can change all of the details in here. So instead of being green, let's make the background white and the foreground text black. 
and then you can simply press apply to apply that change and you'll see the change straight away or if we change the color here let's put it as a light gray and clicking OK applies the change and closes that dialog at the same time. And that's a pretty neat way to figure out what changes you want. And when you have figured them out, you should probably save this in your style sheet so you don't lose it. Oh, and don't forget to take a safe copy of your style sheet so that when you reinstall the next version, you won't accidentally lose it if you delete your OpenTune stuff folder. So that's how you make changes to the theme style sheets yourself but what about the free 4K themes that I promised? Well, I'll tell you about that in a minute, because first, I want to quickly thank all my Patreon supporters for your support. With special thanks to Maria, Rodney, and to Robert, who, along with the supporters on my tea mug and teapot tiers, could all watch this video a week early and download these themes early by becoming a Patreon. Because I release all of my tutorials early on Patreon, as well as getting lots of other benefits. So do check that out. So back to my new 4K themes. How do you download and use them? So first head over to my Gumroad page and you can download them for free. But if you wish, you can choose to make a donation to help out the channel. Enter your email address. And then download the zip file. Unzip it. And from the unzip folder, copy the five new theme folders into your QSS folder and then restart OpenTunes. So I've changed the resolution back to 4K so you can see the difference of the new themes here. And you can see using the default theme that the text for the menus and for the dialogues are all quite small. So let's change to one of the new themes. So again, now I've added them into the folder. Select from the theme drop down and you can see the five new themes all at the top there. And these will mirror the initial five themes that you get with OpenTunes. So I'll choose the 4K theme that I've added onto the default layout. So now you can see that the menu text, each header text, and various other texts are now much larger and easier to read. And I didn't change all of the text because then you'd lose the benefit of having more space for the timeline and for the frame numbers and the drawing area. But once you've downloaded this, do feel free to experiment and change them further. And you can see that I put all of my changes at the bottom below this banner so you can see exactly what I've changed. So do make your own changes and if you think others might find them useful, drop me in line with them and I'll add them to these files on Gumroad so we can all make use of them. And remember, to get more themes, check out this video just here. Try those out, try out my 4K themes, make your own changes and make OpenTunes work for you. And I'll see you next time for another video. And that's a guarantee.